Greetings YouTubers, here we are inside the turntable. What I was trying to do is to see if there was any way to lubricate the motor. This is the spindle for the motor, underneath there's a, a kind of flywheel there that's turning. I'll be removing this. Once that is free, there's a switch here which can be released by two screws from under the platter. And then there's a big metal disc that lays underneath the platter, I want to remove that and see if I can access the motor from the other side. I obviously can't get to it from the bottom. One screw there. Another one here. So this is loose. So what I'm going to do now is to put the base on. The output wires have to go through this large hole. Now I'm going to flip this over. At the moment it's resting on the dust cover. There are four screws here that hold the motor and then there are these screws around the outside that hold this metal plate. So I take the metal plate screws out. Now, the closest relative to this is the Technics SL1200. They both look the same, they're almost identical, and obviously, Audio Technica have modelled this particular turntable on that uh, Technics one. I need to just drop the screw in there. But the similarity um, is pretty much just cosmetic actually, because once you get to look at the motor, you see that it's not the same design at all. This is an inferior motor, I would suspect. There are lots of videos on YouTube about how to lubricate those motors, which is what got me started on this. And if I'm correct, this should lift out. You can see how different this is from the Technics model. And what I was hoping is it might be possible to lift this off, revealing a spindle of some sort, but clearly it is not possible. I believe what's happened here is this, this whole um, motor assembly has been riveted onto this circuit board so that you can't remove it. Presumably they just replaced the hole circuit board if there's an issue. There's also no way to lubricate it. I've seen some people applying oil to this ring here which is what they would have done with the Technics version of this turntable but this is not the same. It's not designed that way. As you see the whole thing is almost fused together. There's no opening. There's nothing slipping. Everything is fused together so that any oil that you put on this is basically a waste of time. So my feeling about this, having reviewed both sides of it, is that this is not a motor that you can service, it's not a motor that you can even take apart. So if you're experiencing any noise or any undue rumble, I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Sorry to bring you that news. I don't think there's any way you can oil this motor. If there is, let me know. Leave a comment, give me all the information you can. Um, and I'll give it another shot. 